What's up everyone, welcome to the Durban Compound. In today's episode, we are talking about water filters, choosing the right water filter for you in your situation. If you're just joining the channel or you're a longtime subscriber, well, my name is Devin Durbin and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Hopefully after today's video, you will be able to make an educated decision on your water filtration. And if you're looking at putting in a system and you have any questions or concerns, well, let's see if I can answer them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're downstairs in the utility room of the Durbin compound. So I wanted to show you guys some different thoughts when it comes to choosing your water filter. So first and foremost, you want to get a water test done at your property. So whether you're on a well or you have uh, water from a municipality, all water is different. So uh, if you're on a well, you are pulling that water from an underground aquifer. So that aquifer is basically a product of its environment. So if you're in a sandy climate or a clay climate or a rocky climate, uh, it gathers sediment and stuff as the water filters through the ground and uh, collects in the aquifer, it is a product of all of the stuff that is around it, and that is what's going to be in the water. So you need to do a specific test for your water that you're dealing with, and then you need to combat that um, in a filtration way or a water treatment way so that you can have great water on the other end. So I always recommend a, a whole house filter for any setup, whether it's a, uh, you know, a municipality water, which their uh, standards before a boiler alert are kind of scary. Um, a lot of stuff can be in your water before they uh, do a boiler alert. So uh, it's just one of those things. But if you're on a well, you, uh, you have some different, uh, uh, different uh, water that would be different in different areas. So if you have a sulfur smell or that egg smell that's really, really bad, those are um, certain things that are gonna be treated by different systems. So what works best for you is all dependent on your water. So I'm gonna go over what I do for my water and then uh, maybe that will help you along the water journey and uh, uh, fitting filters for you in the future. So. First and foremost, coming out of the well, I have a sediment filter down here. So uh, these usually come white, just like this, pure white. And this is a five micron filter uh, that is replaced every about every three months. Um, I replace this one about every 30 days. So this is about 20 days on this filter. And you can see the iron deposits here and the sediment just coming from the ground. Um, it's just one of those things. It collects all the crap that you don't want to go through your equipment. So after it goes through this sediment filter, it goes into my water softener. So if you don't know what a water softener is, I have a video on that. I recommend that you go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below just so you can educate yourself on what a water softener does. Uh, but a water softener can have all kinds of different guts inside of it. So it can have activated carbon, it can have uh, coal in it, it can have resin beads. Mine is filled with resin because it is combating calcium deposits. So the main reason for my water softener is calcium. So that takes care of my sediment and iron. This takes care of my calcium. And then after the water softener, you see these uh, blue PEX tubes come over to this filter. Now this filter here is an, uh, a carbon filter which takes care of taste and odor. So uh, I have a small egg smell or a small uh, sulfur deposit that comes and goes. So it's not constant, but I have my taste and odor filter to take care of that. So this provides me with pretty darn good drinking water. So it is very good. Uh, we like it a lot. I drink a lot of the water here um, and it's just some of the best water I've ever tasted. So I chose to do this. This wasn't installed when I uh, bought this home, but I chose to do this setup because uh, Stuff like this, where you have the, the iron deposits in the filter, um, th this shows up in your toilets, in your sinks, in your bathtub. So I have this filter to make sure that I'm not having those deposits in the, in the uh, appliances. The calcium, 
the calcium will start to soap scum, the calcium will start to build up on your aerators underneath your sink and in your shower heads. This combats that and takes care of that for me. So, and then I don't like to smell that egg smell. So. I've got the taste and odor filter. So this is my setup. Um, there are a bunch of other different setups and there are some uh, water softeners that have double elements, some that treat uh, chlorine. If you, have, uh, if you have a really, really bad sulfur taste or a sulfur smell, you might have a chlorine injection system. So there's all kinds of different stuff. If you have a, a huge iron problem, you, you can get a softener that's designed just for iron. Um, I think it's called an iron blocker or something like that. Um, and uh, the softener is designed exactly for that. So get with a water treatment uh, uh, place or company and have them test your water and then make a system that makes sense for you. If you'd like to filter on past this, there are stuff like uh, filter systems like reverse osmosis. If you're looking into reverse osmosis, um, one thing I will tell you in my opinion is that it is tasteless and just does not quench your thirst. And that's why I really don't like uh, reverse osmosis because no matter how much I drink it, I'm going to the bathroom a lot, but I don't feel like I, my thirst has been quenched. So I'm usually always turning to uh, a carbonated beverage or something that you can taste. So um, I have a lot of friends with RO and they just love it, but that's not for me. I really like to taste a little bit of, uh, you know, deposits and stuff in the water that I haven't filtered. Okay. This is stuff that, you know, if your iron isn't filtered, it's not really bad for you. If your calcium isn't filtered, it's not really bad for you. It's not going to kill you, but it's just those appliance things and making things last longer around your home. So I hope I educated you in a couple different areas when it comes to deciding what filter is best for you. If you don't want to go to a, a, a water treatment place and get your water evaluated well, you can do the old uh, shoot from the hip and you can say, hey, I've got red staining in my appliances and so I obviously need a sediment filter or an iron blocker. You might want to run red out in your uh, red out salt in your brine tank for your water softener. Um, if you're getting a bad smell, hey, taste and odor, let's put a couple of those in. There are so many things that you could do, mild to wild. Um, this is just my setup. This is not the end all be all setup, but this is just what I've chosen to go with and a filter that I can uh, uh, replace every every month or every couple of months and uh, enjoy nice water around my home. So I recommend it for you and I hope this video helped you out. So uh, give my video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you like videos like this and you're going to go check out more, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.